and welcome back to Crash and Learn FPV. It's been a while since I uploaded a video and that is because I have been busy doing and also some and a lot of So for about a month and a half, me and my girlfriend have been converting this Volkswagen Transporter into a camper van. And yes, I know Mr. Steele is doing the same thing right now. It's not completely finished yet, but we decided to take it for a maiden voyage and drove up to Norway for a short vacation. So during this camper van conversion, I have been pretty busy and I haven't found any time to fly. So in today's video, I will just do a quick patch up of my wizard, make sure everything is okay, and then head out and see if I remember how to fly this thing. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing here today is I'm gonna replace this video transmitter that I actually just borrowed from uh, another build that I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna replace that one, uh, put the transmitter back inside, then I'm gonna install a pigtail to it. I seem to destroy my video transmitter at a pretty alarming rate. Uh, I always manage to land straight down on my antenna and rip out the connector from the transmitter. And also I'm gonna try these Yixin Cloverleaf antennas. So without further ado, let's take this apart. Right, as you can see here, I have also managed to destroy one of the antenna wires for my FlySky receiver. I'm not really sure how this affects my range or reception. I haven't noticed anything different, but then again, I'm not flying very far from myself. I'm not gonna do anything about this today though. I am going to swap out this receiver at some point, but today I'm just gonna get the wizard flyable. So here's my video transmitter. This is the Yixin TS5823S. Uh, I am going to keep this, but I'm going to swap out the antenna and move the uh, transmitter to inside of the body on the uh, wizard. So on goes the uh, pigtail. Like so. And of course the mounting hole on the top plate is too large. So I will have to find uh, another washer for this. Is it supposed to rattle like this? Here I'm just wrapping the ESCs with some self-vulcanizing uh, rubber tape to keep them in place and to protect them because the old tape was cracked and broken. The key here is to stretch the tape, because that's what uh, activates the uh, vulcanization process, or <laughs> whatever. It makes the uh, tape stick to itself. Like this, or something. All right, I have tested everything out and it seems to be working. And uh, I have to go back to square one with the video transmitter because I really couldn't fit it anywhere inside the body and still use the uh, pigtail, which was the whole point of tearing it apart. I just couldn't fit it inside the back here and still have the pigtail go to it and yeah, routing the cables and everything. So, I had to stick it back underneath here as a temporary solution and I think I'll have to order a longer pigtail and route it all the way to the front and put the video transmitter behind the camera. Uh, but this will have to do for now because I really want to get out and fly this again. So let's go! I thought I'd take the opportunity and test the uh, range and performance of the Yixin smartphone video receiver that I have been using with my Tiny Whoop.
looks like I finally managed to smash off my uh, lens modification. <laughs> and also... Uh, <laughs> yeah, the camera is uh, due for a replacement, I think. Let's see if I can find the lens, but I don't think so. Well, guess it's time to order a uh, Runcam Swift.